Okay, LS Vlog. Okay, reaction video tayo mga kaibigan dito sa nagtitrending ngayon na ito na, Iran shock dozen of ballistic missile crashed into Iranian territory. Ito na. Welcome to the U.S. Army YouTube channel. Mm. The war that Hamas started is now escalating in a very different direction. Mm. Israel is preparing for a major escalation in the wake of the Iranian attack last weekend. Mm. While many countries are trying to end the war, Iran has once again ignited the fuse of the war. At first, the land of Israel was very worried about the missiles coming from Iran. Mm. However, Iran did not achieve its goal with the missiles it sent. In fact, Iran's evil ambitions were realized on its own soil. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at what happened. Three U.S. officials said that about 50% of the ballistic missiles fired by Iran mm -hmm. failed to launch or crashed before reaching their targets. Mm -hmm. At least half of the ballistic missiles Iran fired at Israel during yesterday's massive attack failed. Oh. These weapons either did not fly at launch, failed in flight, Mm -hmm. or fell or crashed before reaching their targets. The data on the percentage of missiles that failed during the attack on Israel was confirmed to Western journalists by mm -hmm. two unnamed American officials. Earlier, a senior U.S. official said that among more than 300 drones, mm -hmm. crews, and ballistic missiles, mm -hmm. between 115 and 135 ballistic missiles were launched against Israel. Iran's missiles failed to reach Israeli territory and mm -hmm. caused chaos on its own soil. Iran's missiles soon fell on its own soil. Iranian officials were horrified by this unfortunate accident. Mm. They were overjoyed that there were no civilians on the land where the missiles fell. Mm -hmm. The world's press made a mockery of Iran's aggression hitting its own house. Iran's clumsy attack has opened a new phase of tension. Mm -hmm. This is why I stopped shopping on Amazon, okay, and you should too. Don't spend another dime on Amazon. Okay, Uncertainty and conflict in the Middle East. Mm. Israel reacted angrily to these unprecedented attacks and praised the response of its military. Mm. But Israel's allies in the West urged the country to work to de-escalate the crisis, rather than respond in a way that could plunge the situation into open war. A senior White House official said U.S. President Joe Biden spoke by phone with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu. The official said he made it clear that the United States would not participate in any offensive operation against Iran. Biden told Netanyahu that he should see this as a win, because Iran's attacks have been largely unsuccessful. Okay, continue lang. Continue After lang. all this, an Israeli official said yesterday that mm. the war cabinet reviewed military plans for a possible intervention during a nearly three-hour meeting. Mm. The war cabinet remains committed to responding to an Iranian attack, mm -hmm. but it is unclear at this stage whether a decision has been made on what that response will be. Mm -hmm. But the official said there is a perception that Israel must act quickly. Following this meeting, Israel has decided to strike Iran openly and forcefully and is already preparing fighter jets to carry out the attack. Mm -hmm. Israeli media outlets have reported that the country's air force, including U.S.-made F-16, F-15, and F-35 fighter jets, mm -hmm. are already preparing to launch a retaliatory counter-strike. According to the report, the strike will be designed to send a message that Israel will not allow an attack of this magnitude to go unanswered. Mm -hmm. But the unsourced report said Israeli leaders also hoped the response would not lead to a wider war. As President Biden and his allies urged Israel to exercise restraint, Biden reportedly told Israel's Benjamin Netanyahu mm -hmm. that the United States would not support a counterattack. Secretary of State Blinken said the U.S. is coordinating a diplomatic response to avoid escalation. Blinken continued, I have been in close communication with our counterparts in the region and we will continue to do so in the coming hours and days. We do not want an escalation. But we will continue to support Israel's defenses and protect our personnel in the region. Israeli Chief of Staff General Herzi Halevi addressing soldiers at the military base hit in the unprecedented Iranian attack, said Israel would respond. Ganon, ganon. Talaga naman itong gira mga kaibigan, ha? nakakatakot talaga ito. Halevi made the remarks during a visit to the Nevatim base in the south of the country. Mm. The launch of so many Iranian missiles, cruise missiles, and drones into the territory of the state of Israel mm -hmm. will be met with a response. Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari, the Israeli military spokesperson, said, we will do whatever it takes to protect the state of Israel, 
and we will do it at the opportunity and at the time we choose. The Israeli military fired more than 300 drones and missiles at Israel late last night in retaliation for the deadly attack on the Iranian embassy consulate in Damascus, mm -hmm. which Iran blamed on Israel. In his first official comment on the attack, Hagari also said that those killed in the attack on the Iranian consulate in Damascus had committed aggression against Israel. Hagari continued. As far as I know, those killed in Damascus were members of the Copy of good hope. Goods Force. Mm. These were people who were planning attacks against the state of Israel. Mm. Among these attackers were members of Hezbollah and Iranian Auxiliary. Mm. As far as I know, not a single diplomat was there. Mm. I don't know of any civilian killed in this attack. Mm. Meanwhile, conservatives in the Israeli government have called for tough action. Finance Minister Bezalel Smotrich called for a response that would reverberate throughout the Middle East, oh. while National Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gvir said mm. Israel should go mad. Iran said a new equation had opened in its hostile relations with Israel. Iran boasted that among all its failures, it had damaged the Navatim Air Base. In response, the IDF denied reports that the Iranian attack damaged the main runway at Israel's Navatim Air Base, oh. a C-130 transport plane, and various storage facilities at the base. Mm -hmm. According to expert analysts, the damage was not negligible, mm -hmm. but much less than Iran had intended. In an address to ambassadors and representatives of diplomatic missions in Tehran, mm -hmm. Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian said, mm -hmm. Iran's military operation against Israel was limited and targeted fleets of F-35 aircraft. The Israeli attack on our consulate is in violation of international laws and agreements, and we will not hesitate to defend our interests in the face of any attack. All the while, political tensions are growing but... By the minute. Senior Iranian commanders have warned Israel that if it retaliates for the drone and missile attacks overnight, the country will face a bigger attack. Oh. Major General Mohammad Bagheri, chief of staff of the Iranian Armed Forces, made the following statement. Mm -hmm. If Israel retaliates against Iran, our response will be much bigger than tonight's military action. At the same time, Bagheri warned Washington that any support for Israeli retaliation would result in the targeting of U.S. bases. Mm -hmm. Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi made the following statement. Mm -hmm. If the Zionist regime or its supporters display reckless behavior, mm -hmm. they will mm -hmm. receive a decisive and much stronger response. Mm -hmm. Hossein Salami, commander of the elite Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, mm -hmm. also warned that Tehran would retaliate against any Israeli attack on its interests, mm -hmm. officials or citizens. Salami said Tehran has created a new equation in which any Israeli attack on its interests, mm -hmm. assets, officials, or citizens will be retaliated against from its own territory. Salami also said the operation was a success beyond expectations. In a meeting with foreign ambassadors in Tehran yesterday, mm -hmm. Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian said his country had informed the United States that its attacks on Israel would be limited and in self-defense. Meanwhile, the Hamas attack group, one of Iran's proxies in the region, came to Tehran's defense after the attack. The Palestinian group issued the following statement. We, Hamas, consider the military operation carried out by the Islamic Republic of Iran as a natural right. We see it as a justified response to the crime of targeting the Iranian consulate in Damascus and killing many leaders of the Revolutionary Guards. Tehran's attacks late the previous day have increased the threat of a wider regional conflict. Iran has previously relied on its proxies in the region to attack Israeli and U.S. targets as a demonstration of its support for Hamas in the ongoing war in Gaza. This war shows no signs of abating despite numerous mediation efforts. Following the Iranian attack, Prime Minister Netanyahu posted on his social media account ay ganun, tapos na. Okay, explain natin mga kaibigan ha, kung ano itong pinangangalgal nito. Sabi dito, Iran shock dozen of ballistic missile ay uh, crash into Iranian territory. Isa lang itong ano lang itong mga kaibigan ha. 
Sabi dito ay yung isang dosena, okay, isang dosena ng uh, ballistic missile nag-crash daw doon sa Iranian territory. Ibig sabihin siguro binanatan ito ng uh, uh, Israel, okay? Yun na nga, nag-crash doon sa territory ng Iran, okay? May kli lang, dami niya nila lang, may kli lang ito sa Tagalog eh. Oo. Oh, yun lang. Ha? Huh? Iran, ibig sabihin Iran shock, Iran Iran nagulat, ganun. Iran shock. Dozen of ballistic missile crash into Iranian territory. Great news for Israel. Okay? Simple lang yan sa Tagalog. Alam nyo na yan. Okay? Hanggang dito na lang mga kaibigan. Ano masasabi nyo? Bahala na kayo at subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.